So welcome back to this Carolina Panthers franchise about to head into week number five against the Atlanta Falcons, a team uh, you know we have so much history with, could not beat. We beat them in week one. Hopefully we can uh, sweep the season series here. But this game is huge because of two things, and that is these two things right here. So DJ Moore up for uh, upgrade and development trait, which put him at a superstar X factor. So we lead, need maybe four touchdowns or 200 yards receiving. Man, that is crazy. So we can get him up to an X factor. Henry Ruggs is up for another one. Obviously had one last year. Now he's up to a star. He can go up to a superstar. So we need maybe three touchdowns or 150 yards uh, receiving, obviously. That one's like a little bit more doable. Man, the DJ Moore is going to be tough. So the whole thing with this game is going to be, we obviously, first and foremost, want to win. But uh, before we actually get into that, we're going to try to up Keekly here. This is what our third negotiation with him. So let's see if he, he wanted more of a bonus last time. So we'll up the bonus there, maybe up the salary just a tad bit. He's definitely worth it. Uh, we'll make him the offer, and Luke Keekly is going to come back. So that's fantastic. Luke Keekly not going anywhere. Hopefully he'll finish out his career as a Panther, as he should. I think, uh, Paradis, I think we can I think definitely bring him back. If it's just a one-year deal, you know, offensive line is such a trouble. Let's just bring him back, see if he signs his one-year deal. He does. So he is back. Paris Campbell will wait on. Uh, Dante Jackson is going to be a guy I definitely want to bring back for sure. Trey Turner, man, it's so tough. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure, but we'll see. So we're going to get into this game. Here we go. Kickoff underway here, week number five against this Falcons team. So like I was saying, first and foremost, it, we want to win the game, obviously. You know, this is a team we've had so much troubles in the past. We want to continue to overcome that, get a victory here on Sunday night. But the real thing is going to be is getting those. We're going to pass a little more than normal, obviously, because obviously Drew Locke has been on fire, but we want to get those upgrades. So here we go. So we start the game. DJ Moore with the catch. He breaks off, but I believe this is going to be coming back. So yeah, 200 yards with DJ Moore and 150 with rugs. I don't know. The, the touchdowns, I'm not even sure about that. Four touchdowns. Three touchdowns is pushing it, obviously, since we have a you know, week one, we completely struggled against this Atlanta defense. And so far, you can see a little bit struggling here. Third and 21, lock in the pocket, looking. Perfect pass in the zone to Henry Ruggs, picking up 23 yards on third and 21. And that is a first down. So nice job uh, with the pass there. Second and seven now, lock looking. Looking around, he's going to dump this one underneath to Henry Ruggs. Nice tackle there by Deion Jones to bring him down because Ruggs gets in open field. Uh, yeah. It's tough to get him, uh, bring him down. Third and eight here. Locke looking. Pressure coming, but he's going to find Henry Ruggs. He's the man on this drive. Third catch. All right. We're getting the yardage here for Ruggs in this first drive. He's already got 33 yards and another first down. So we're up to the 50. This time we're going to hand off McCaffrey with a good run. Keanu Neal with the huge hit, but uh, McCaffrey hangs on the ball. So, yeah, we're going to, you know, strategically run the ball, but this is going to be more of a pass-first offense in this ball game. So I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, we give up a lot of sacks as well. We'll see. Third and seven. That's going to be a big first down to Nikhil Harry. And uh, he's got himself up to the 13-yard line. So, unfortunately, he'll probably be a forgotten man in this ball game because I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to try to force it to DJ Moore and uh, force it to Henry Ruggs. Now, I'm not going to go crazy and just completely try to force it to him where I'm throwing picks left and right. I want to be, you know, selective. But they're going to be the main targets. And there we go. Henry Ruggs with his fourth catch on the drive. And a great first drive. He picks up the touchdown. So, technically, only two uh, touchdowns away from Henry Ruggs to get that dev upgrade. So, uh, good, good start. That is a great start. So, now what can the defense do here against Matt Ryan and company? Good season. 11 touchdowns, four interceptions. Right there behind us in yards uh, passing. Uh, actually, Drew Locke leading the league at the moment in passing. As Keekly is going to lay him out there. And that's not going to pick up really anything, just about a yard. So, third and ten. Ryan dropping back in the pocket. It's going to dump this one off. It's going to be caught, but it's going to be short of the first down. Not going to get it there. And that is going to be a three and out for this defense. Nice job there. And we get this ball back here at the four. It's a bad field position to start, but in reality, I'll take it because that's more yardage we can possibly get for these guys. So good run there by McCaffrey. Third and three. Going to find this is DJ Moore with the catch. And he's up to the 23-yard line and a first down. So DJ Moore at 200 yards. It's going to be a little rough. We'll, we'll, we'll do our best. Third and six now at the 27. Two minutes left here in this first quarter. 
Block looking in the pocket, trying to find somebody down the field. Nobody open, and he's going to go down for the sack. Humphrey is in there to bring him down. Just nobody open downfield. So Atlanta gets the uh, stop there and gives their offense some really good field position. So here's Julio Jones with a catch, and then Del Pitt's going to bring him down, and I believe that's going to be by the face mask. It is. So that's going to give them an extra 15 yards, and just like that, they're down to the 32-yard line, just about in field goal range, range here, second and 10. Ryan dropping back to throw, has some time to throw, looks down the field, there's a man, and it's going to be knocked away. Nice job by Grant Delpit getting over there to knock it away from Calvin Ridley, incomplete, and brings up a third and 10. Pressure coming, nice blitz pickup, and then Ryan's just going to kind of overthrow Ridley here, out of bounds, incomplete, and... About 50-yard field goal attempt here. It's going to be up, and it's going to be perfect right down the middle. It is good. So Atlanta gets three points, 7-3. to three. Uh, Pretty much last play of the uh, first quarter here. This is a third down for Drew Locke and his offense. So Locke looking in the pocket, trying to find something. He's going to find DJ Moore in a really tough pass, and that is caught first down. Nice job. So after a... Uh, Huge couple penalties here. It's a second and 27, and Drew Locke is going to find Ian Thomas down the seam. Just wide open up to the 38-yard line, and that is just something this offense has been doing all year so far is just picking up the big plays. Even if we're setting this, um, positions like that, we are picking up huge plays left and right, and now here comes Dalvin Cook. Room to the outside, makes one juke move, and are they going to be able to catch him? They just catch him at the 1. 37-yard rush there for Dalvin Cook down to the one and let's uh, see if we can put this one in obviously we're going to try to throw it here to get it maybe rug get a second touchdown so first and goal he's got rugs but he overthrows them incomplete he had him there so second and goal just going to try to put this one in dalvin cook with the run he cannot pick that one up he is just a tad short so third and goal now block looking trying to find somebody in the back of the end zone he has his man but they run into each other is you kill Harry and Henry Ruggs run into each other. Both drop it incomplete. Missed opportunity there. Pick up the field goal. Take a 10-3 lead. And let's see what our defense can do. As that is just all day to run there. That is going to be a big time game there for Edo Smith. He picks up around, uh, I mean, believe 17 yards there for first down up to the 44-yard line. So second and nine. Back to Smith on the ground. This time Keekley is there to bring him down. But not before he spins away and kind of picks up four. And it's a third and five. So Ryan looking in the pocket, pressure in his face, and he just gets rid of it in time. But that's going to be out of bounds, incomplete. So we force another punt. And uh, offenses look pretty good, I have to say. Second and ten, hand off to McCaffrey. He has some room to run to the outside. And he has got a first down and more. Give him 16 yards. So in reality, you know, we've been struggling running the ball here the last few games. And with all the passing we're doing here, as lock goes down, with the sack tack McKinley. It's really opened up the run game. We've, we've gotten some bigger runs in this game that we've had in the season so far. And now it's going to be a third and nine. So Locke looking in the pocket, trying to find somebody. He's going to go up top. He's going to look for Deal Kill Harry, but he cannot bring it down. Incomplete. He had the matchup on a linebacker. Hopefully he was going to win that, but does not. And uh, that's going to force another punt. And let's see what kind of punt we can get here. This looks like a pretty good one. Do we get a good bounce? And we do. Perfect bounce out at the one. Atlanta in some bad field position here. So Ryan looking on first and ten. is going to get into the outside. That's going to be caught. Only picks up three yards. So even when they're getting some completions here, not getting a whole lot of yards after the catch. So that is good to see. Third and ten. Just going to hand off to the fullback. Keekly is there. Penalty flag. If this holding in the end zone, that's a safety. So holding on the offense, is it in the end zone? It is not. So we'll just decline that penalty. Get another punt. So defense playing very well. Still only 10-3. to three. Let's see what the offense can do. Third and seven. DJ Moore catch first down up to the 32-yard line. There we go. We got to get him more going here. He has 51 yards, so he's 150 away. So not too bad so far. We're still in the second quarter. First and ten, setting up the screen here to McCaffrey, getting some good blocks. Nice block there by Jarek Wills Jr., and it lends McCaffrey to a touchdown. Outstanding screen play there. I tell you what, usually don't run screens because they just do not work out. The pressure gets into the quarterback's face before you can even get it off. And then the blocking, not always the greatest, but the blocking was fantastic there. McCaffrey with another receiving touchdown. He has uh, had that going this year, looking good. 
And uh, I think that's his third touchdown of the year receiving. So McCaffrey looking good in the receiving game, even though he's been a little slow to start in the running game. But uh, looking good, 17-3. We're in control of this ball game. So much for that Atlanta, you know. We'll see as Grant Delpit is going to pick this one off. Intended for Charles Clay. Delpit kind of baited him there. Ryan throws the pick. And now with two minutes left in this first half, we have uh, more opportunity to get some more yardage, more points on the board. First and ten. Lock going up top. Trying to find DJ Moore. And he can't come down with it. And maybe could have possibly been a penalty there. I'm not sure. Maybe just a tad overthrow. But incomplete. And on second and ten, they bring a blitz. But he dumps it off to McCaffrey. Nice play there by Locke. That's going to be a first down up to the 46-yard line. And we continue this drive. And look at to put up a big lead before halftime here. First and 10. Locke looking, going up top. He's going to try to find Henry Ruggs. And he does for the touchdown. Perfect throw on the money. Ruggs is second of the game. So we're only one touchdown away from getting him superstar development. What a throw. Man, that is a... That is a dime there. That is a great throw there for the touchdown. Puts this lead up to 24-3. to We are dominating this ball game here against the team. We've struggled so much. Even in week one, we got that win. It was a struggle offensively. We could just not get anything. Our defense played, you know, did the job with obviously the Luke Keekley uh, pick six that put up the only touchdown. But this game is a completely different story offensively. We are killing it. Looking good. Put up 24 points of the 21 lead going into halftime. And as we go into halftime, just a reminder, if you want to use, uh, go up, get some muck coins, get some packages. They got good ones over at discountmuckcoins.com. You can use my code Luigi23 for an extra 10% off. So go over there. Uh, they have NBA 2K stuff as well. So you can use my code to get that as well. So go ahead and get your coins there. As we look around the league, you can see that the Buccaneers and Saints played each other. The Saints beat Tampa Bay. So that is a big win for uh the Saints, and that's get the update, update it, uh, here. So Ruggs has got 89 yards, needs 150 or three touchdowns. So he's one touchdown away. DJ Moore needs a 150, has yet to have a touchdown. So looking more of the yardage there. So we need 150 yards there with DJ Moore. That's probably the biggest one as Brian Burns to start off this second half comes through with the sack on Matt Ryan. Yeah, I mean, superstar X Factor, that is amazing if we can get it. If we can get this, it'd be great. Second and 16, they're handing off to Edo Smith, and he has a good run just weaving through guys, and he might pick up the first down. He does. So picks up around 16 and a half yards for the first down there, and this uh, Falcons' first drive of the second half continues as they throw it out to Calvin Ridley. That's going to be absolutely nothing, just picking up maybe a yard. So third and 10, Ryan in the gun. Look, he's going to dump this one off, and that is going to be caught, but well, well short of the first down. Only picks up. Actually looking at it now, probably lost a few yards. So he forced the punt and bring on the offense here. So first and 10 from the four. And it's going to be Dalvin Cook with a run. Has some room to run. He's going to pick up around eight yards there. Nice run on first down. So second and two. Go back on the ground. Just get the first. Dalvin Cook, another one up the middle. Looking good. Not bad of a game. I mean, you know, I wish we could handle the ball more. I mean, you know, we were looking for that X factor, but still looking good. First and 10. Trying to play action off those runs and... Uh, yeah, Humphrey just gets around the edge, beating Trey Smith there for the sack. Six sacks in this ball game. I guess expecting if you're going to throw it a lot. Third and nine, Drew Locke underneath the DJ Moore. He's just going to be a tad short of the first down. You know, you want to think about going for it, obviously, but that's too crazy. Just punt the ball. You know, still first and foremost, trying to win the ball game here. Up 24-3, don't want to get anything crazy. Bring them back in there as uh, Smith is going to have a nice carry there up to the 23-yard line. I mean, they're running the ball well, just passing, not getting a whole lot. As Matt Ryan looking, going up top, and that's a perfect throw. And he's broken a tackle. Can Fuller get him? Can we bring him down? He cannot. Now Durant Delpit's going to finally bring him out down at the 10-yard line. Biggest play of the game here for this Atlanta offense. Crockett unexpected there. So now first and goal from the 10. Matt Ryan looking. He's going to find a wide open Julio Jones for the touchdown. So just like that, Atlanta strikes in a few plays, picks up the TD, and now only down, still down two touchdowns, but still don't want to invite this team back into the ball game. So we got a big third and nine here. Drew Locke looking, going up top for DJ Moore, and he's going to come down with the catch, and he's going to have a touchdown. Unbelievable, 75 yards on third down. Looks like we were going to go just three and out, 
and we respond right away with a huge touchdown of our own. That's going to help out DJ Moore's yardage. All right. So 31 to 10 now. That was a big play that we needed for those yardage. And not only that, big play in the game. Because we answer right back just three plays later. And now can our defense get another stop here? As that is going to be caught by Clay. And I think he was pulled down by the face mask. He was. Dante Jackson with the infraction there. That's going to give him a 15 yards. So maybe Atlanta's offense has started to find something. So our offense is going to have to continue to pick it up here. Second and 14. Ryan looking. Looking down the field. Open man. That's going to be caught. Calvin Ridley. Perfect play there. Down to the 18-yard line. And a first down. So Atlanta looking to strike back on their own. From up to 18. They're going to hand off to Edith Smith. And Brian Burns is there. Keekly there to clean that one up. Going nowhere. Going to be a loss of two. Back to the 20-yard line. So third and 12 now. One minute left in this third quarter. Ryan looking. Tries to find Julio Jones, but he cannot come down with a catch. It's going to be incomplete. Atlanta takes the three. 31-13. So they still get some points out of it. And here we go. First and 10. Back on the offense. Drew Locke looking. He's going to find Henry Ruggs for the catch. That's going to be a first down up to the 41-yard line. He's got to be close. He's got to be close to the yardage. Third and 11 as we start this fourth quarter. So one more quarter to get what we can and tries to force it into DJ Moore. Bad throw there, incomplete, but we'll have to punt the ball. we still got a quarter left. Right now in a good commanding lead, 31-13, so we got to hold on to that. Hopefully the defense can continue to play well as Fuller with the stop there, and it's going to bring up a third and two. So Ryan in the gun looking, going up top to Calvin. Ridley who beat Fuller, and then Fuller can't bring him down. Ridley's going to go 90 yards for a touchdown, and now going to put this Atlanta team only down 11. So we pretty much have a full quarter here. Only down 11. Now our offense really has to get going here. we got to put this game away. First and 10. Hand off McCaffrey. Run there. Picks up around 10. And they're just going to say he's just a tad short. So we'll go back to McCaffrey on the ground. This is the first down easily. He's up to the 38-yard uh, line. First down. Takes some clock off there. So first and 10. From that 38, Locke looking in the pocket, trying to find something. Nobody is there, and he goes down for another sack. This time it's Grady Jarrett. I mean, he already has four sacks in this ball game. Ridiculous. So now it's going to bring up a third and 17. As Locke looking in the pocket, watch out, and he's going to go down. And has that Humphrey again? So Humphrey's third sack. This Atlanta team, I think, has eight sacks in the ball game. And now... They have a chance to put this to a one-possession ball game. So our defense has to step up. First and 10. Brian Burns is in there for a huge sack. Loss of 10 there. His fifth on the year. And it's going to bring up a third and long here. So can we get the stop? They're going to set up a screen to Smith. He has the catch. And Jack Thompson makes a great tackle there to bring him down. But Atlanta's going to be obviously going for it here. So fourth and 10 from the 37. Ryan looking, and it's going to be picked off by Dante Jackson. Probably could have went to the house, but we're going to run out of bounds because, once again, we need yardage here for those dev up upgrades. So first and 10, just trying to really still put this game away. Looking, Drew Locke is going to have it. It's going to be picked off. Oh, man, I believe that's Desmond Trufant with the interception. So obviously questioning the decision here, just putting this game away we force the throw it's picked off and now Atlanta is right back in it here third and seven gonna dump this one off to Clay that's gonna be short of the first down but it's gonna set up a field goal attempt here about 56 yards this will put it within a one possession ball game if the field goal is good kick is up for McManus and it's gonna be no good off the upright all right kind of skated away there and we're still gonna get aggressive we want those we want that X Factor. We want that superstar. And then second and eight, guess what? Drew Locke goes down again. Tack McKinley this time. So I believe that's sack number 10 for this Atlanta Falcons team. They're going to say nine. So third and 17. They're bringing the heat again. I mean, I would too. We're going to go up top. We're going to try to find Henry Rocks. He comes down with the catch. And he's down at the five. And he comes up hurt as well. Hopefully is okay because that's the yardage. He's got the upgrade. He's got superstar development. He should be done. Can we get D.J. Moore the upgrade, though? First and goal back at the end zone. Going to find D.J. Moore for the touchdown. Yardage, he's getting there. He is very close. That's his second touchdown. I mean, he still needs two touchdowns. So I don't know about that with three, with about four minutes left. But 
We're close. 38-20 the score. Matt and Ryan, first and 10. It's going to be picked off by Luke Keekley. Once again, we're just going to make sure we get tackled. And now the touchdowns, we, we, we possibly can get here. Wow. So I think we can put this game away with one more touchdown, and then D.J. Moore would just need one more. So second and 11. Block looking. He's going to try to find D.J. Moore. It's double coverage. That's going to be incomplete out of the end zone. So third and 11 here. Block looking. Trying to find anybody. He's going to say, I'm just going to go up top to Ian Thomas. And he had it in his hands. And it's going to be incomplete. So, we're going to go a little crazy here. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it here from 4th and 11. Look for the throw. Lock. Looking. And he's going to be brought down for a sack. Of course he is. Deion Jones. Another sack for Atlanta. So, it looks like the DJ Moore Superstar X Factor. Uh, looks like we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna come up just a tad short. We got it with rugs though. DJ Moore though. Uh, I'm not sure, but we get another opportunity. That's gonna be incomplete. But Atlanta's gonna go for it here. So we gotta get the stop here at fourth down. Ryan's gonna hand it off to Edo Smith, and he's gonna be stopped short. All right, we still have a chance here. Okay, we still have a chance to get some yardage or the possible touchdown. And if you can see, yep, Justin Fields is in the game. So we're gonna give Justin Fields. An opportunity here, up 18. I think we got this ball game secured. And we're going to let Fields get some playing time. Is he going to find Ruggs there for the catch? And a first down. So first and 10 here from the 22. Fields looking. He's going to throw it up to DJ Moore, who comes down with the catch and the touchdown. So, man, he's going to be really close to the yardage now. What a throw by Justin Fields. Third touchdown for DJ Moore. He's one touchdown away. I think we're short in yardage, so we just need a touchdown. But we have to get the ball back. First and 10 for this Atlanta team. Just 50 seconds left in the ball. I mean, this game is over. We're up 25, but I've never had so much. I feel like, you know, we're down and we got to get the ball back because, you know, this is, you know, not many opportunities, especially get a superstar X Factors. We get the sack on second and 16. And actually, Atlanta uses a timeout there. I'm surprised. Third and 24. They're just going to go up to. Julio Jones, what a play there by Dante Jackson, knocking that one away. I think they're going to punt it. They are. So DJ Moore's 40 yards away, one touchdown away. We need 40 yards with 30 seconds left. Can we get this? First and 10, Fields looking. He's going to go down for the sack. Of course he is. Sack there. We'll use a timeout. Doesn't matter. We just need the yards. Second and 17, Fields looking, pressure beyond his feet. He's going up to D.J. Moore, who comes down with the catch, and Moore is going to be gone. Unbelievable with 15 seconds left. We get the yardage. We get the touchdown. And D.J. Moore, welcome to the Superstar X-Factor Club. What a huge play there with the uh, pressure right at Fields' feet, and he gets rid of it in time for the touchdown. And that is the ball game, 52-20. We went a little crazy here, obviously, forcing throws down the field. Wow. Oh, I can't believe he just got that. DJ Moore only had 51 yards at half, no touchdowns. And in the second half, he goes he goes nuts. Drew Locke, another 400-yard game, 443, five touchdowns. Justin Fields just comes in. Now it's going to be all, if we are had QB controversy already for everybody, there you go. You guys are going to be like, oh, put in fields now. Running game was outstanding. Just didn't have to run it as much because we wanted to throw. But there we go. Henry Ruggs, 10 catches, 200 yards, two touchdowns. DJ Moore, 9 catches, 239 and four touchdowns. Both guys, we get the upgrade somehow. It looked, I thought Ruggs was definitely doable with 150. But when I saw that DJ Moore thing, I was like, nope. Not happening. 200 yards and four touchdowns. I can't even remember the last time I had a 200-yard receiver. I don't, I didn't think that was going to happen at all. And look at that. We have two 200-yard receivers, and we get both of them done. That is fantastic. This receiving core is absolutely brutal. The sacks, just ridiculous. But I, I just take that up to Madden. Uh, I believe they had like 10 sacks. Look at all the upgrades we have as well. Insane. That is a lot of upgrades. So Delpit, first one. I think we'll work on hybrid there. Uh, continue his development. He's up to an 85 overall, turning into one of the best safeties in football, plus three press, uh, plus two pursuit. Uh, Brian Burns, already five sacks on the season, so he is looking good, trying to get into uh, the double-digit double sacks here 
as well upgrade the power rusher just make him an all-around uh, great uh, pass rusher Graham Gano actually has an upgrade kicker we'll just go accurate um, looks good there plus two awareness okay Ian Thomas um, I guess for just do we do we go blocking here I don't know yeah I guess we'll go blocking just try to get him an all-around tight end he's already a vertical threat where he, you know, he's got the speed. He's a great receiving tight end. It's the only reason why we let Greg Olson go. Even though I thought Greg Olson was going to retire. Paris Campbell Jr. will work on his route running. I mean, he has the intangibles, Paris Campbell Jr. We'll see about re-signing him. I'm not sure how much he's really going to want. That's one of those where we might have to wait till we, we, the actual offseason. Mate Nicholson came up with a huge play last week against the Jets. He's getting decent playing time. He's looking good. Plus two main coverage, plus two awareness is going to help out because he possibly could move into the safety role next year. Hodges I like as well. He had a great preseason. He comes up with some good plays. I like those athletic tight ends. So he uh, goes up. Uh, Galden's had a good year. This whole team has really had a good year. This team is... I thought this team was going to be good, and right now it's looking better than I even thought. I mean, this team is looking very, very good this year. We might be the best team, I would say, in the NFL. I'd have to look around the league and see what else, you know, everybody else is doing. But right now, this Panthers team is absolutely doing it, and it's fantastic. So, let's see. Uh, we, we, I'm pretty sure we got everything. Yep. <sighs> best one of the teams. Yeah, Death Straight Superstar X Factor. For DJ Moore. That is fantastic. Plus he gets 5,000 XP. Um, we'll have to look at what X Factor he's got. And then it's going to be uh, superstar development now for Henry Ruggs. So he came in, we drafted him. He was only normal dev. And then he goes up to star last year. Now up to superstar. He can use those abilities. Fantastic. You can see DJ Moore wins offensive offense. NFC Offensive Player of the Week. You see Cam Newton won AFC. But here's DJ Moore. Now up to a 90. Oh, man. He's going to be one of the best receivers in the league right now. So let's see what we got here. So Superstar X Factor. Let's go over. He's ranked number 14 wide receiver. He's got the double me. So aggressive receivers over power defenders attack the football. So uh, we need a 20-yard catch to get that one going. He's really good against single coverage. That's He was already doing it in that game. His uh, Superstar abilities run sharper routes. So he's got the double me Superstar X Factor trade. And then Henry Ruggs now up to a superstar. He's got the jukebox, uh, faster juke animations. And then after securing the catch, he can uh, quickly shift momentum and direction with his speed. So that is fantastic. So our receiving core is absolutely brutal. This coming up week, we'll see another young guy, Dwayne Haskins, his second. Uh, he, this will be his third year. Looking pretty good for this Skins team. 32 touchdowns, six interceptions last year. So we'll have to see how Dwayne Haskins look. I'm, I'm interested to see what he's like. Um, you can see Drew Locke, though, another one. I mean, he's got three 400-yard games already, just that one game where he struggled against the Falcons in Week 1, but he has absolutely killed it. So he is doing it, man. Drew Locke, I never expected anything close to this, but he's absolutely killing it. We'll face the 2-3 and three Redskins here in Week number 6 before we hit the bye. And uh, it should be an interesting one. And then the bye after the bye. That's tough. Eagles, Bills, Saints, that's, those are some pretty good teams. So it's going to be a, a good bye week here in week number seven. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for all the support. If you could please leave a like, that would really help me out. I really appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. But I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.